Hey, welcome back everybody. Greg Wartko with GreenIndustryPros.com. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, part two of our three-part series on how to make a late season fertilization program work. Uh, and we're uh, joined by Bob Raley, an agronomist with Agrium Advanced Technologies. They're a leading manufacturer and marketer of controlled release fertilizers and micronutrients. And you can visit AgriumAT.com for more information. How are you doing today, Bob? Oh, I'm good as always. Thanks, Greg. Good. We appreciate you joining us again. The last one was a good intro to this topic. Uh, we talked about uh, enhanced efficiency fertilizers, you know, the fact that well, it's kind of a new term that's picking up steam and being used more and more. Um, but these are uh, encompassing products that have been around and have proven uh, to work very effectively for a long time. Today we're going to talk specifically about one of those enhanced efficiency fertilizers, and those are controlled release fertilizers. Uh, can you explain a little bit uh, what controlled release fertilizers are, uh, Bob, and how they work? Sure, sure, Greg. So controlled release for, uh, fertilizers, uh, uh, the product that, that uh, Agrium is uh, uh, manufactures is a product called Duration, mm -hmm. and, and the way this product works is you take a traditional uh, fertilizer substrate uh, or fertilizer product, in this case we're, we're going to talk about urea, and you coat it with a polymer coated technology, and that, that polymer coating uh, controls the release of the urea with inside it. See, traditional urea, you, you make an application, um, it, it, it uh, hydrolyzes, it, it, it goes into soil solution, and it's readily available to the plant almost immediately. So what we've done is, is, is with urea, we've coated it with polymers that allow for um, diffusion of the nutrients through the coating. It takes time for the nutrient to release. So we've, we are controlling the release. So it, it has uh, longevity associated with the release. Um, I guess that, that would be the, 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 the best way I would describe uh -huh. how a controlled release product works. Okay. So maybe, you know, maybe let's start there with, with the nutrient release and go uh, a little bit more in depth. How, how is it released over, over a course of time? Right. So if you've seen our uh, uh, one of these products before, uh, these c uh, controlled release products like Duration. Mm -hmm. Again, it's just a urea granule with a polymer coating on the outside of it. And what happens is after application, it absorbs soil moisture. Mm -hmm. And the urea inside the polymer uh, hydrolyzes. It goes into solution. And that solution seeps out through diffusion out of the coating a little bit at a time providing a constant release over a, a period of time and we can uh, we can uh, impact that time by the coating the thickness of the coating okay so if we want the product to be a short-term product it has uh, a little bit of th uh, coating if we want it to last a long time we have these products that can last you know six nine months okay. we just vary the depth the thickness of the coating and we can increase um, the release time by doing that okay Okay, and can you can you explain a little bit this concept of release curve? Then you mentioned like six to nine months. Can you talk a little bit more about this concept of release curve? Sure. So, and this is why we call these controlled release fertilizers. This is we we really do uh, take control of how the product releases. Now, it's tied to soil temperatures. Um, the the pro uh, the process of diffusion is a is temperature driven. So, okay. as temperature goes up, more nutrients come out. But we can measure that. We can measure it very precisely in the lab. So that's why we classify these as controlled release. There, there are other products out there that have delayed re response or delayed release, even like a sulfur-coated urea um, as an example. But we really don't have control over the release. It, it hits some temperature, it hits some point in time, and there's nutrient release. Mm -hmm. With, with uh, the duration product, with these polymer-coated ureas, the, the nutrient is coming through the coating at a very controlled rate tied directly to the temperature. So we can put these in a lab and we can measure the exact release curve for these products mm -hmm. and know and, and really understand what they're going to do at a given temperature at a given time. And, and that's why, again, that's the, that's the key behind them being controlled release as mm -hmm. opposed to a term others may have heard, which is a slow release. Yeah, right. Right, gotcha. Okay, so you you had mentioned they'll start to slowly, you know, in a controlled fashion, uh, start to release those nutrients when when the soil temperatures reach a certain point. Can you talk a little bit about uh, when when that point is? 
Sure. Well, we're, we're researching that more and more, uh, learning more and more about that as every every day passes. Mm-hmm. But w- what we've found so far, we're pretty confident. You know, it gets below 40 degrees Fahrenheit mm-hmm. that uh, there's minimum or or no release uh, of these products. So we really start to see the release above that, and even then, it's really really minimized. Okay. Um, the 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 temperature that we really check these products at is about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. That's that's really what we see in the, you know in, in much of the U.S springtime temperatures and it's, it's just a good target for us to see how our products are going to release okay that makes sense and it seems to me now is an is a novice when it comes to this this topic uh this is where the rubber meets the road here with our with our series because this is where late season fertilization starts to make sense because they're putting this product down later in the year but there's not going to be any loss of nutrient until the spring when you need it do i have that right that's exactly right. Okay. That's what separates a controlled release product, a polymer coated product like Duration, away from most other fertilizer technologies available. Uh, the ability to minimize release throughout the cold winter months. Gotcha. And that's a, a perfect a place to, to end today's discussion because next time uh, with, with part three of three, we're going to talk about making this late season fertilization program work with controlled release fertilizers based on you know some of the information uh, Bob has already shared with us today. So we look forward to having you back next time, Bob. We appreciate all the information you're sharing with us. Can't wait. Thanks, Greg. You bet. And listeners, in the meantime, uh, for more on advanced agrium technologies, visit agriumat.com and come back next time for part three. Thanks for tuning in.